cause of death in the United States, heart disease. And a new study reveals where your body fat's distributed plays a major role in the risk for heart disease. Joining us now, Dr. Ali Kazrayan with Kazrayan Urology here on The Morning Show. Good to have you here. Good morning. So they're saying belly fat leads to a higher risk of heart disease. What's the correlation? So when they looked at this study, uh, it was very interesting. So uh, as part of the study, they looked at more than 1,000 patients, followed them for six years, and they were doing CAT scans, looking at coronary uh, vessels and the aorta, looking for calcifications. And they also studied uh, abdominal fat content. And they found that uh, abdominal fat content, and interestingly, the density of that fat was associated with increased adverse uh, risk factors for heart disease. And when they followed these people over time, they found that your subcutaneous fat, what we expect under the skin, uh, in those patients, there was about a 22% increase. And in, uh, in the abdominal fat content on the inside, which actually for men seems to be where we, we carry our fat, but for, for women also, 44% of these, these patients were women. Um, they had about a 45% increase in the fat content. This was associated with an increase in, in adverse heart risk factors. So the interesting thing here is it has uh, a big difference between the volume of fat and the density of the yeah, fat. Yeah, so one thing that was found, that the authors of this study found interesting as a potential future uh, thing to, to follow up on is could fat density play an important correlate with an important thing to follow as a meaningful risk factor for heart disease that we previously didn't put much uh, validity to or didn't know to follow? And, and basically, from my understanding, each pound of fat that you add increases your risk of developing high blood pressure, metabolic syndrome, high triglycerides, things like that. So that's the important factor. We've known in the past that carrying abdominal girth carries with a number of different factors, a lot of which are those metabolic factors. Uh, and, and, you know, the things with increased uh, hyperglycemia, increased blood sugar, uh, increase of, uh, uh, you mentioned a triglyceride, but also lowering of HDL, the good cholesterol. All of those are factors that increase your risk of heart disease. And when you put all of this together with an increase of overall weight uh, and now we, we can further personalize that in terms of the specifics of where you're carrying that weight that allows us to, to further personalize this uh, in, a, in a further factor which you know for some people may be a little bit daunting well now not only do I have to watch my weight now I have to go get a CAT scan and figure out where and how dense my fat is but this allows you to have a more personalized conversation with your cardiologist of how to look at the things further but again this is one study that opens the door for us analyzing and learning things a little bit more precisely to do better. So your BMI is pretty much one of the big telltale signs. Sure. It all begs the questions, you know, and I know from personal experience, belly fat is some of the hardest to get rid of. Absolutely. What are we supposed to do? I'll tell you, the take-home message here still goes back to some of the things that for, for heart disease we have to take home that are, are controllable measures. Some of the biggest risk factors for heart disease are preventable and controllable and treatable. Cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, Smoking. If you're smoking, quit. If you haven't smoked, don't start. Uh, obesity. Uh, you know, this study kind of highlighted the fact that we're approaching 70% overweight uh, population. Uh, more than a third of our population is obese. Uh, that can change. You know, in, the, in the Jacksonville, we're doing a lot in terms of the, the Mission 1 million. Uh, get on board with that. That's something that can change because lack of physical activity. All of those things are things that we can change, and those things significantly decrease the risk of, of heart disease, and those are controllable measurable and preventable measures that we can do to, to significantly decrease the risk of heart disease and know your personal history know your family history and engage in a conversation with your primary care physician and your cardiologist to try to change the paradigm and try to try to lose weight and maintain a healthy diet and maintain a healthy uh, weight because that's where the beginning of any kind of healthy heart regimen begins so you've got to be reactive and then proactive absolutely doc thanks for being here sure. if you missed any of this interview Watch it online at newsforjacks.com. Look on the morning show page. Should be posted there about 10:30, 11 o'clock this morning. All right, take.